the beta release of Grok 2 is now available to you. So I'm going to go over the blog post and then I'm going to point you in the direction where you can leverage this model even if you don't have access to a X premium account by the end of the video. Right now, there are two models available, Grok2 as well as Grok2 Mini. Both of these models are now being released to Grok users on the X platform. The interesting thing with this model is Grok2 Mini is a small but capable sibling of Grok2, and an early version of Grok2 has been tested on the LMSYS leaderboard under SUS column R. Given some of the answers that some people were getting on Twitter and whatnot, a lot of people actually thought this was a model from OpenAI, given how impressive it was. So what's interesting here is that this is just the smaller version of the Grok2 model. This does outperform even Claude 3.5 Sonnet as well as GPT-4 Turbo. Now it outperforms on the chatbot arena. What the chatbot arena is a place where you can go and you can battle to LLM. You can put in a query, you can say something like hello world, and what it will do is it will give you two responses side by side and then you can choose the response that you prefer. Now, in a longer example, it might be a little bit more nuanced. You might give it a coding problem or maybe a riddle or something to that effect. And generally speaking, this is just a very raw metric of what users prefer. Now, if we compare this to some of the other models here, this is the overall ELO score on the chatbot arena, which is how all of these different models rank on the leaderboard here. Right now it's in fourth place on the arena, but mind you, this is just the small version. And then the other thing to note is the chat GPT 4.0 latest release. This just came out hours before the release of sus column R. And then if you want to get into the particular win rate for the different models that it's compared to, you can see for Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which a lot of people think is the frontier model. It outperforms 54% of the time, etc. In terms of the AI tutor preference for factuality, now, this is definitely going to be an edge potentially that Grok has and the XAI team, given that they do have access to all of that data that is available on Twitter. One key area that the XAI team has been working on, and this isn't to say that other AI labs aren't working on this as well, but they really have this focus on factuality. They have this AI tutor system where they present the different answers to a tutor and then they evaluate the model's capability on two key areas. So whether it's following instructions and whether it's providing accurate and factual information. In terms of the MMLU score, we're at 87.5% on Grok2 and then 86.2% on Grok2 respectively. So for the human eval or the coding benchmark, Grok2 sits at 88.4% and then Grok sits at 85.7%. When you compare those, that's sitting at fourth place and sixth place, respectively, in that human eval coding evaluation. There are a few other pieces with Grok that make it particularly interesting. You can access it on X Premium right now, and the benefit of using it on X is it also gives you that context of all of Twitter. So you're going to be able to access real-time information, new things that are happening out there, similar to something almost akin to perplexity and that sort of retrieval augmented generation that gets pulled from different context sources and then ultimately fed into the LLM. There is multimodality with the model, but this is something that is going to be coming soon. And then in terms of the chat experience, if you try it out, it's a really nice intuitive interface. You have all the markdown renderers like you typically see in these chatbots like ChatGPT and what have you. It is overall a really nice experience. Now, the other thing that is cool with this announcement is they've partnered with Black Forest Labs. And Black Forest Labs is a leading image generation model, and some people even consider it higher than something like Midjourney. And the thing that's really interesting with Black Forest Labs is this is an open source model. So there's a ton of different fine tunes out there of people generating images of themselves in different contexts with this new Flux One model that is available. And the cool thing with Black Forest Labs, they're also working on a video generation model and given the results on Flux One, I wouldn't be surprised if the video generation does ultimately come to X. Another thing with the announcement is there is an enterprise API coming. There are no details in terms of pricing or anything like that. And then they mentioned a little bit about the infrastructure that's going to be built on a bespoke tech stack that allows multi-region inference deployment for low latency across the world. Now, in terms of next steps to access Grok, you can just head on over to x.com. And then you can click the Grok tab here and you will be able to interact with it. Say if you want to generate a photo, let's say generate a photo of a man in New York City at night. 
So this is that Black Forest Labs image generation where there you go, you have a man in New York City and it's really impressive. I'd really encourage you to play around with this. There are a ton of really great examples on Twitter where you can see what it's capable of. There's a ton of examples already on X of just different things that people are trying and it doesn't seem to be as censored or as filtered as some of these other image generation tools that are out there right now. Now, if you don't have access to x.com, you can access this through the lmarena.ai website where you'll be able to go over to direct chat and then you can search for sus column r and interact with the model just like that. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.